Hello friends around the world, you're watching 180 View and in the next 15 minutes we will be discovering exciting facts about the life of students here in the American Southwest and compare it to the traditions and culture of students on the other side of the world, in Moscow, Russia. In many corners of the world, the start of winter signals cold snowy weather, fur hats and gloves and scarves, but not here in the sunny beautiful state of Arizona. Here it's time to enjoy the outdoors and get active. So let's learn about popular Arizona winter activities from our next episode. Winter tourists from all over the United States, Canada and Europe come to spend their vacation in Arizona. You can't beat the weather. It's always perfect. It is the perfect weather. I haven't found a better winter than Arizona's. It's beautiful almost every day. And when it is perfect 75 degrees and sunny, there is so much to do outside. I like to run outside in Arizona in the winter. Um, we just finished Camelback here, so a lot of hiking. We've done hiking every day. We've been out here. Lots of running, um, you know, swimming out in the pool. I like to work out, so I mean, it's obviously good for fitness, but I also enjoy the outdoors and have the sun on my shoulders and, you know, being, enjoying nature. Cycling's huge. I mean, on the highway, on the regular roads, county roads, regular back trails, there's even a lane usually for bikes around here. Seems like everyone golfs in Arizona, so I, it's kind of the place, place to be. The sunny blue skies help make Arizona one of the most popular golf vacation destinations in America. I know they do have a lot of golfing out here. There's like the highest concentration of golf courses in the nation. They've got a golf resort for every person. They've got nice ones, beautiful golf resorts, you know, the most beautiful I've ever seen. Um, then they've got ones that are for college students like me, right? Hardly pay anything and get to golf. Bicycling and skating, horseback riding and rock climbing playing sports games, jogging or just enjoying a walk with a furry friend are all part of everyday life for Arizonans during the winter. But one of the most popular Arizona winter activities is hiking. Hundreds of miles of unique and beautiful trails means everyone can find something to their liking. Hiking can be as hard or as easy as you want it to be. So it just, you know, if you're in the mood to just get out and have an easy hike, you can do that or you can you know, find something a little bit more difficult. Some of the more challenging trails combine hiking with rock climbing, like the very popular Echo Canyon Trail at Camelback Mountain. It's a little treacherous, you know, it's not a long hike, but you have to do a little climbing. And so I'm, I'm into that. You know, I just, I hike all over the place. You, know, you come back a different person. I mean, I've always liked climbing as a kid and stuff like that, but after climbing it, you know, you really get to use all your muscle. You kind of come back a different person every time you do it, you're a little faster, a little stronger. Hiking exercises more than just your body good for your mind, you know, to keep thinking, you know, what's the best way to get up and the best way to get down. It, it keeps you sharp and it keeps you in shape. It keeps the heart rate up and burns those calories. As in every physical activity, there are certain rules that you need to follow to enjoy hiking safely. Make sure your shoes are comfortable, bring a lot of water, um, bring something to snack on just in case, and make sure you know where you're going. Um, so that you don't get lost, because some of the places if you're hiking, you might not get good cell phone reception if you get lost. These rules and many other outdoor survival skills for the desert are often taught to students of Maricopa Community Colleges when Arizona's hiking trails become their classroom. All right, guys, let's get going. Quick uh, checklist here. Everybody got your packs or plenty of water? Mesa Community College's outdoor recreation program offers an outdoor survival class. Students learn everything from building a shelter, making a fire, finding food in the desert, to signaling for help. The time that you get comfortable is the time that something happens usually. Enjoying the desert is also about maintaining your water supply. Water, that's the, the biggest uh, concern, that's the place that most people get into trouble. When the importance of safety is taken seriously, hiking can be an amazing and unforgettable experience. And the last couple of steps that bring you to the top of the mountain might be the hardest, but also the most rewarding. Up and you get to the top and you can see all of Arizona out there and it's just this breathtaking view. You know, no two days are the same, no two trails are the same. It's, it's always something exciting. This is Nadia Patrick reporting for 180 View. <clears throat> hey, Hard, what's this? That's my resignation letter. You're resigning? Why? Because you're constantly ignoring me. You're half as active as you used to be, and you eat stuff like this. You've been putting me under a lot of pressure lately. That's why I'm ready to quit. I, I forgot. 
I'll do better. Please, don't quit on me. Okay, but remember, it's not what you say, it's what you do. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Let's go for a walk. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Don't worry. The 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Which planet are we living on? What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are, you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. That's what it's like to teach. Here is my handle, and here is my spell. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip, Tip me over and pour me out. Oh. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Cheers. Take time to be a dad today. can capture fun time spent outside better than a snap of a camera. This month, 180View announced a photo contest asking you to share the best pictures of your favorite winter activities. And here are our winners from Arizona and Russia. And the winners are Roman Pinsky from Tempe, Arizona and Mikhail Lulanov from Moscow, Russia. If you want your picture to be featured in our next edition, visit our Facebook page to find the contest details at facebook.com slash 180view. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, While we are enjoying this beautiful winter weather here in Arizona, it's actually pretty chilly on the other side of the world in Russia. So what do Russian students do to keep themselves warm and entertained? What kind of winter activities are popular in Moscow? Find out from our next episode, produced by our partner station, Mia TV. White fields, trees covered with frost, this is how we imagine Russian winter. But how really cold is it in winter? Russia is the coldest country in the world because of its location. In the Republic of Yakutia there is the village Oymakon, where a minimum temperature of minus 95 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded. While in the central district temperatures average from 15 to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Similar temperatures are in the United States in Minnesota and North Dakota. No matter how cold, everyone will find something for themselves in this time of the year. I love snow. I love when everything is beautifully decorated. I go skiing, skating very often, play hockey. My mom bought me a snowboard. Then she put me on the highest slope and said, move down. Well, it was at first very difficult. I learned a long time, and then I got it. And that's all. I'm waiting for every winter to ride a snowboard. In winter, I love active forms of recreation. Skiing, skating. I like to walk with my beloved little dog. I skate, or, and I pass the session. In Russia, figure skating is known thanks to Peter I. He brought skates from Europe and was the first in the world to invent a new method of fixing blades, directed to boots. 
Sleeping on the bumpy ice of ponds is difficult, but with the advent of artificial turf, skating entered into the life of people and became one of the favorite pastimes. Probably since I was seven years old. The school stadium skates and parents. They took my hand and went to skate. Every winter indoor and outdoor ice rinks are poured in the city. There is also the possibility of snowboarding. Snowboard came to Russia not so long ago, but already firmly occupied its niche among fans of winter activities. I started jibbing when Burton appeared, three years ago here in the parks. I am more than 30 years old, so it is very useful and helps to keep yourself in good shape, looking at young guys skiing. If you want to get away from the bustle of the city, you can go skiing in the woods or on the frozen lake. We ride with the kids, teach children to ski. The younger also has ski. We didn't take it today. Our usual winter activities are sledging, skiing. This year I want to learn to ski and I hope to fulfill this dream now. Skis are the invention of the northern peoples. They were used to move over long distances in very deep snow, where on your own two feet it is simply impossible to go. In the Pskov region the oldest ski made about four and a half thousand years ago was found. Today skiing is one of the most accessible winter sports. Of course, we all look forward to spring, summer and at least warm weather. But when else you can just have a ride on snowy hills? A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. That ember can ignite and destroy your home or community. You can't control where that ember will land. Only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how you can help protect your community from wildfires. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. This new dad is picturing a tree house in the sky. But, but he's, he's ignoring, ignoring the instructions. Good luck, big guy. His kids know that he's building without a clue. Never been so good with nails and glue. Now we're trapped inside a box. I hope mom knows what to do. Oh. Mom. See, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Well, didn't this look like fun? If you're thinking about going skiing in Russia one day, you should learn how to ask for a warm drink. So please pay close attention as we will repeat and translate to Russian 10 of the most commonly used words from this show. Winter, zima, sunny, jasna, snow, sneak, hiking, peshi turizm, skiing, katanje na lyžach, trail, trapa, ice skates, kanki, golfing, igra v golf, snowboard, no board. We hope you enjoyed our show. Stay tuned to MCTV for more exciting programming. And don't forget to visit our Facebook page to watch our shows online, participate in our contests, and communicate with your fellow students from the other side of the world. Take care. Пока!